Okay. Um, as first, I'm so sorry, but due to the regulations, I have to, I have to wear the max through the presentation. Um, before we officially start, uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Jing Hua Wan, and also I'm the author of the of this article. Okay, what I want to talk about today is about risk analysis on Chinese commercial banks in the contents of fintech empowerment. Um, the article I have written consists of milling of the six uh six sections that are showing showing on the page their introduction, literature review, and the commercial bank risk theory and the uh analysis of current state of risk and the finally is a suggestion and conclusion. Okay, well, uh, let's start with introduction uh, because I want to be as clear as uh, possible about the purpose and the meaning of this article. I will spend a lot of time on introduction. Uh, the rest of details are reflected in the article. So if you are still in double, so you maybe you can just go to my article to find the answers, please. Okay, let's start. Uh, introduction with contents two parts, and one is a background of this study, and another is a risk uh, significance of this start uh, of this study. Uh, firstly, uh, let's look the background. Okay, um. The section focuses on the impact of fintech on commercial banks' risk taking. In looking at the relevant literature, I was concerned that uh, the effect of fintech on risk taking by con conventional banks is inverted U shaped. Uh, means enter the meaning sorry meaning early in the evolution of fintech uh, fintech companies with their advanced advanced technological means and enter the banking sector to expand their business and to compete with the commercial banks in the three sectors in your three sectors low in commercial bank deposits income and loan income and the significant reducing commercial banks' profit income and thus increasing their risk taking. Um, however, with the future development of fintech, fintechs are beginning to uh, empower commercial banks. Uh, for instance, uh, commercial banks are applying te technology to their development and they improve and uh, business to innovate their traditional financial business, uh, ultimately uh, increasing their uh, profit income, improving their efficiency, efficiency and enhancing their risk management capabilities. This is because the improvement of their own risk management capabilities is a prerequisite and the basis for their efficient cooperation uh, sound and sustainable development under the new economic economic normal then con comes the significance of this study for which i have divided in two parts as you can see on the page the first being the theoretical aspect uh, the current search for fintech empowerment on china knowledge find one once one thousand uh, one thousand zero forty two. I'm sorry, I'm bad at uh, uh content and the results. While the re while the search for risk management in Chinese commercial banks yield sixty thousand eight hundred twenty one results, and when the two are combined, and only two results were found. Yeah, this is a good indication that the study of the risk management in Chinese commercial banks in the contents of the fintech enabled and the commercial banks is still incomplicate. Um, in terms of practice and the risk is uh, in, in inevitable in all industries, even with the empowerment of fintech and for the entire Chinese commercial banking uh, industry sector. Uh, in the face of in the face of the huge demonstration effect brought about by the 
rapid growth of fintech, is it necessary to use new technologies to constantly innovate and reform their traditional business? This is a new challenge to the risk management capability of the commercial banks. The strategy the strategies and suggestions put out in this paper, which are supported by a wealth of theoretical research, will assist commercial banks in the in strengthen their own risk management. We are also promoting the stability and the long-term growth of the financial market. Okay, next the uh, the for the literature review, I mainly said that the above scholars. Um, ideas and related series and build build my own research build my own research um, framework on their ideas uh, and for commercial banking theory uh, this section uh, th this section pro provides a detailed explanation of the theories relating to credit risk and liquidity risk. As in starting the case of risk management risk risk management in Chinese Chinese commercial banks, uh, I have found the several commercial banks that are currently uh, insolvent have serious deficiencies deficiencies in the management and the control of the of and the control of these two areas. Uh, in addition, I explain three um, notes on technology risk and the data risk has been added to this section in the context of the current financial technology enabled landscape of the Chinese commercial banks, thus um, enriching the types of the risk, risk, risks currently faced by Chinese commercial banks. Uh, the next the next key analysis a uh, part of this article, uh, after analyzing the six major uh Chinese banks in the liquidity and the credit part, to find out the current problems of the Chinese commercial banks risk management in journal, uh, and according to the corresponding problems in this article, also put forward the corresponding. Uh, improvement advice, as you can say. Uh, uh, sorry. There, there, there are there are suggestions in the for Chinese commercial banks, and uh, in the end, also uh, again summarize the, the whole article. Of course, hope that their own research on. Um, problems and the proposed improvement suggestions can let Chinese commercial banks uh, improve their own risk management level so that stability and the sustainable development of the whole financial market. Okay, that's all my article and thank you for listening.